picture could change. And I could be always what I am now. For that I would give everything. There's nothing in the whole world I would not give. I would give my soul for that. The vain jealousy which prompted Dorian Gray to utter this fateful prayer was destined to sweep him into a life so fraught with vice and evil that its marks became horrible to behold. For the mad wish of Dorian Gray was granted through some supernatural miracle. And day by day he watched his sins etch themselves upon his painted portrait while he himself stayed young and handsome. Every vile thought and act, every criminal deed left its mark upon the painted canvas that was to bear the burden of his shame. Down to depths of degradation frightful to conceive went Dorian Gray, seeking new outlets to satisfy his passion for pleasure. His extraordinary visits into the strange world of crime and sin became notorious. And when he reappeared again in society, men would whisper to each other in corners or look at him with searching eyes. Women, who for his sake had set convention at defiance, were seen to grow pale if Dorian Gray entered the room. What was this strange fascination this man held for everybody? To what limits of evil did he drag those he knew? Men and women alike, all fell under the spell of his charm, and yet to know him was to court shame and disaster. <laughs>